Rabbit Magazine! Hey everyone, and here we are in Lake Kingdom because we are going back to try and get one of the most annoying moons of the entire game. And it's only annoying because we kind of didn't get it the first time we were here in Lake Kingdom, and we kind of saw, we saw the Lock Lady dress, we saw that there was definitely going to be a moon in there, and kind of it just looked a little bit too tricky and we wanted to crack on with the game so we kind of ignored it but it's haunted us ever since and it's only just at the end of completing the game that we kind of realized how we actually go about getting it so we're heading back to lake kingdom now and we're gonna pick up the lock lady dress moon so to start with you just kind of head back underneath the lake to the central platform and you kind of have a chat with this fishy lady, fishy looking lady, and she will tell you a little bit about the Lock Lady dress and how it was stolen. Now you can see we've got the Lock Lady dress back. That's because we've completed the game. However, if you haven't completed the game, you won't see the Lock Lady dress. You'll just see a statue. Now when you chat to the second fish lady, you'll find out that you need a costume. So it's time to head to Crazy Cap to be able to get it. Now, essentially, this is just the local attire. Mario looks pretty cool in his swimming costume and, uh, and rubber ring and uh, snorkel gear. So now we can head on in and actually see the lock lady dress. So we're gonna chat with this lady and that will open the door and allow us in. Now, most of you will have already gotten through to this point, gotten in there and really struggled to try to get the moon that's in there. Now, this is actually one of the easiest moons in the game. And it's super easy because you just need to hold Y. If you hold Y and hold the cappy shake uh, on the dress, it will give you the moon. Now, the first time we tried this, we just kind of gave Cappy a little flick and he didn't do it. We tried head bouncing, we tried ground pounding, we tried everything to try and get the moon but we didn't hold Y to hold Cappy in place for long enough. And once you do that, you are able to get the moon. Now, this is actually a kind of move that will help you out throughout the entirety of the game. So here we are back in Cascade Kingdom, and this is one of the moons that you get kind of after unlocking the end game. But uh, you can see it at the end of the, uh, the kind of the fossilized Triceratops, you can see it's no shining. So anytime you see this kind of thing going on, you know you've got to flick Cappy at it and hold him there for long enough to unlock the moon. And that's essentially how you grab those. And that's how you get the Lock Lady dress. So thank you very much for tuning in to our walkthrough. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can check out the rest of our Super Mario walkthroughs at the link at the end of the video. And make sure you hit that like button and share, comment. Let us know what you think of the game. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.